Yo, what is going on guys? Z Brian plays here and guys a whole war unfolded on my Twitter when I posted this tweet. Basically I was stating that my only uh, idol, basically the person the people that got me into Roblox and that made me think it was a bit fun for a, a, a lot of months. Most of them just ruined themselves. Now in this tweet I said, Whoop now Link at Linkmon is my the only idol that I still watch now because he's the only Good one that I still watch now. First, it was Nick's review that messed up, and now he, we're gonna get into good parts. Wait, then it was Roblox Locust, obviously for obvious reasons. Then it was Seniac and Midget at the same time. Seniac and Midget, those are the ones that hurt me the most. Those are the ones that stuck with me forever, dude. Those were the ones that I I held that I think that I, you know, was the most fond fond of in the Roblox community. I I looked up to Seniac the most, dude. Like, he was the person I would always look up to. Like, always. Like, when I'm looking for Roblox videos and want to play Tycoon, I always go to a, a walkthrough by the Seniac. So I just kind of... And find Midget. Uh, I don't really have that much connection to Midget. I just watch him a few times. So, yeah. So, you, unlike he was one of the people that got me into Roblox, I did see one of his videos first. But, yeah, now we get to the good part. The replies. So, one like. Thank you to this guy for liking it. Next review replied with, I messed... How does that get four likes? Alright, next review replied with, I messed up. Like, he does not know how he messed up, but that's obviously a lot. He obviously knows how he messed up very well. Basically, I tell him clickbait and manipulation. Let's see what other people replied. He replied with click... click like I replied with clickbait. And then this guy said, ignore them, Nick. They're being extremely ridiculous and stupid. Okay, obviously, um, salty boy. I don't know how to go back on this. But the funniest tweets were this. Um, what about me? Lonnie, I, I swear, Lonnie. Okay, I swear. I did not forget you, Lonnie, okay? I just, I'm naming off the idols that got me into Roblox, Lonnie. I, I'm sorry, I watch your trade videos all the time, Lonnie, alright? You can see I already searched up some explosion videos because, uh, basically, the next review did not know how he messed up. Uh, I gave him an example over here. Where I sent him a video on him getting exposed himself. Well, let, let's just go to YouTube for this. I don't gotta, I gotta open this time now. So basically, Lego Blocks in. This guy, he basically exposed Nick Survey right on the spot. It was on my recommendations all over the place. Because, yeah, I, I used to watch a lot of Nick Survey. A lot of Nick Survey. I used to watch a ton of Nick Survey. Basically, I used to watch Nick Survey every, uh... I feel like every week or so, I used to watch Nick's V, like, just watch Nick's V. And, uh, yeah, he basically exposes it. Oh, wait, Linkmon commented on this? Oh, crap. Alright, yeah, he basically... Unless you guys are... Rexx, I, I hate Rexx. Alright, but yeah, Nick's V. Uh, I hope Lego Bloxing doesn't get mad at me by using this content. Lego Bloxing, please don't get mad at me. Alright. So, basically... Nixter B manipulated this guy into using his videos to make money. Basically, Nixter B made an agreement with Lego Blocks in that he could react to his videos. And basically, he was reacting to his videos over and over. And he made about, uh, well, to Lego Blocks in, he made about 1.8k to 2k dollars just off those three videos alone, just by reacting to 30 minutes of footage. And then, you know what's more messed up? Uh, Lego Blocks was asking for a simple Discord friend request so you could uh, you could stay in contact. And Nick Survey claim, was claim, claimed that he barely uses Discord, which is a lie. He uses it to call everyone, and uh, it's kind of messed up. He kind of just you know shoved them away after he thought his videos were useless. Now, so that's really messed up, obviously. And let's not forget about the clickbait. That's the other thing I want to expose him for: clickbait manipulation. I already got that here. By this one guy. Thank you, Lego Block scene. That is obvious clickbait. Nine hundred ninety nine. So we want to go to his most popular videos. They're obviously gonna be clickbait videos. Kid buys Robo Roblox with Roblox with Mark. I watched this video. It's fake. In the end, it doesn't work. It's just fake. Three Roblox scenes. I promise. Three Roblox. Well, I mean, it's not fake, but you know, still. This one, he got that from Lego Blocks, yeah. Like, he got that from Lego Blocks, and I'm pretty sure. Guess what? Like, you see this? 
this yeah this is clickbait right here there's no such thing as a gust infinite all right there's no such thing as that obviously clickbait kid thinks he got free obviously clickbait i don't think he, that kid ever did that how to make your own dominus replica that's not clickbait surprisingly free how to design your own roblox hat they make it seem like you can actually make your own dominus and it's just really messed up when Nick Servita is really messed up. And yeah, Logan Paul plays Roblox. Again, clickbait. But yeah, if we go to the most recent videos, they're more clickbait clickbaity than this. So, as we all know, Nick Servita died. So basically, he's trying to regain his popularity by doing clickbait videos. Alright, so Roblox is shutting down Frank. He still has Roblo Roblox 6. 1 million free Roblox prank. Scamming a Roblox scammer. I became a Roblox hacker. First of all, no he didn't. Uh, Worst online data in Roblox. Alright. Don't watch his free Roblox secret. Obviously clickbait. Kid hacks 1 million free Robux. Obviously clickbait. It, it's just mostly clickbait. Don't put in 1% of this free Roblox glitch. Obviously clickbait. This is X X admin trolling commands. New group is targeting me in Roblox. You know, most of these are obviously clickbait. Most of these are obvious clickbait. And no notice how he puts all the like, yellow arrows on his on his thumbnail or thumbnail. Sorry for my bad English. What? All right. So you see how he puts his most recent videos clickbait. You see how he puts just all these yellow arrows pointing to something. Like he's like, you know, you want to click this, dude. You want to click this. Look at all these yellow arrows. Look at all these yellow arrows, buddy. So basically, he just clickbaits a lot. So that's why that's all I wanted to talk about Nick Servita. Really, you know, he doesn't know how he messed up. He obviously knows how he messed up. He knows he clickbaits. Like if I search up Nick Servita clickbait, you can just see a bunch of people talking about his clickbait. He even got banned for clickbait once. You know it. it yeah, everyone just calls him, and yeah, yeah, oh yeah, something else, he wastes people's time, obviously, he gets, he, he takes too long to get to the point. So basically, next will be, the next Dragon, oh wow, Dragon's right, okay. He's still alive though, Dragon, at least he quit and got out of the Roblox community. But I just wanted this to make this video about next will be, uh, sorry this sounds like a really childish video, but next will be, uh, his fans are trying to deny that he's, you know, done anything really that bad or well he hasn't done anything really that bad but still click baiting not a good one in the books so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button below i'm not gonna bother editing this too much not gonna bother putting it over 10 minutes i just want to get this word out so hope you all enjoyed if you did hit the like button below and see you guys peace